Welcome back, everybody. Max and I here. We're playing some more Might and Magic 2. Um, why am I doing this and not anything else? Well, I I guess it's because I felt like it. Um, so anyways, uh, where we left off, we had just... Uh, actually, we didn't do a whole lot. I showed you one thing here and there, and, you know, just kind of... Yeah, well, I don't want to say I, we screwed around or anything, just, you know... Uh, showed off a couple of things, but now we're actually going to try to get something done. Or just a little bit of something done. Anyways, to start with, um, music. Because I said so. And I think I've got the volume already set properly now. Alright, so, let us exit to the town. Now, I'm curious. Oh, yeah. I have two lanterns. And we have plenty of money. Plenty of money. Navinius, I need you to cast a spell. 3-2, I want you to go take us to A4. Why? We need to go to Atlantium. We have something we need to... Well, shoot. I did this last time when I was screwing around on uh, over the weekend. Okay, let's try that again. 3-2, take us to A1. There's a town I want to go to here. The town of Tendara. Um, as to why I didn't go through there, this guy. Yeah, beware of the snow beast, or you will end up like me. I don't know why I did that accent, and he shows up again. That was the weirdest accent. There's uh, something about old Hannah. She was wearing an emerald ring. Now, here's the thing. This town is interesting in the fact that it has a false wall here. This is monster freezing on Thrice Person only. We'll go through there anyways, because if we go back here... There's a building here called International Market. And it just so happens that I have someone I would like to make a merchant. Why? Because I'd like to be able to buy and sell weapons and equipment at cost. And I'm going to be teaching this skill to Dingo Dial. Because he's the first person in position. And he's going to be the first person in position probably for a very long time. Now do you see this torch right here? You, you know, you'll approach it here. That lets you know where you can walk through this wall. And to prove my point with Dingo Dial, we'll go to the blacksmith here. It's right here. Thundrax Weaponry. And let's take a look at the weapons. Now, you see what he can buy and sell for here? If I go to the next character, me, look at how much more expensive everything is. Twice as much. And the thing is, if Dingo Dial buys, say, that spiked club... Oh, I didn't want to do that. Let me go and sell the item. Oh, look, I can sell it for exactly how much I bought it for. That is a very useful skill indeed. Especially for items that you can use, like skill potions. Buy them for 250 or however much it costs, and use them until there's one charge left, and then sell them right back. It's really quite a... quite a, uh... uh what do you want to call it? A, uh... Oh, it's a trick. Yeah, yeah. That's what I want it to be, is a trick. <laughs> I guess, I don't know. There was another word I was trying to think of. Anyways, okay, now we'll go to Atlantium. Oh, hang on. I should mention that the Atlantium is... Okay, you can't really see, but we're way out... We're way out at sea. A4 is like the... Southwestern corner... Of the world. Near the elemental plane of water. Now, here's Drunhald Ironworks. This is the blacksmith here, and we want Dingo Dial to purchase a miscellaneous item. Now, these are pretty expensive. They're even more expensive if I'm buying them. Well, if anybody else is, for that matter. We want to gather gold, because here, you see, we have 5,281 gold. What we're after is a teleport orb. Now, expensive, yes. Useful, though. They can use that teleport orb to get all kinds of things. These are not difficult enemies. Let's go ahead and attack them. I mean, I'm surprised that we're fighting things that are so weak in comparison. In Atlantium, of all places. Oh, the giant beetles can't be uh, put to sleep. Well, that's too bad. Past one, three... Combat, combat, combat. They, this is good music for combat. It's kind of hopping. Did I just say hopping? I'm weird. Can giant beetles be apparitioned? No, they cannot. Okay. Alright, it has trap. Sapphire! Hey, you opened it. And a Bardiche. 
Uh, I don't think I need a bard each. Amazingly, I think we're uh, we're good on equipment. Well, I mean, I guess I could give it to Sir Hyren, but uh, he'd be sad. Well, he's got splint mail though. So let's 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 give him something better here. Uh, he's losing one point of AP, uh, AC. Anyways, I'll try. You know something? Eight casting, three two going to E four. That's the bottom. That there. That's the southeastern corner of the world. And we want to go here. Sensabar. We were in the plains of peril, and that's a very dangerous place. Okay. Oh, let me. Wow. I'm just running into encounters all over the place. Eh, they're only rangers. What can rangers do? They can kill us. I don't, I don't think they're susceptible to our uh, sleep spell, though. Which is unfortunate. But if I can bless us up, we can die horribly. Wow. Do I have that little HP? Yes, I do, don't I? Two, one, two. I'll have to rest again. But hey, they had stuff. Sapphire? Yes, I figured that is. We will be fixing this. No Ooh. Equipment. Bard each plus two! Straight four, four. There's a bard each there, there's a bard each there. Sir Hyron has less might, so let's give him the one that's stronger. Straight four and equipment A. And Cineset has a flail. Well, now Cineset will have a... Was it not a flail plus one? Okay, there it is. Try four, five, A. Okay. Yay, flail. <laughs> Sounds silly to say that, but you know. Anyways, we wish to sell the flail. Small shield, the, that part each. And... Okay. And we're getting the, uh, we are getting the most we can from this, so, by having him sell things. Okay, I'm resting far too often. We have seven food here. Let me see quick. Yep, seven food. Alright. It's a little more expensive here. But, feeding frenzy. It costs twice as much as it does in Middlegate, but it would cost us more to go back to Middlegate sad as that is. Now we want to go here to the slums. Sewage and muck ooze underfoot. And yes, there are giant rats here. Ugh, and there's screaming pods. Last time I did this, there weren't screaming pods. Okay. Well, fortunately, they can't do anything when they're back there, so... Of course, if I kill the, the sewer rats too quickly, like I'm doing right now, interestingly enough... Um... Oh, come on, come on. Kill them all. Oh. Well, I guess I'm... I don't know why I thought Screaming Pods would be worse than that. I don't think there's anything I can let them do right there. Okay. Did that thing just, like, Fury or something? Okay. Rest again, because I felt like it. And also, actually, let me take a quick break right here. There's something I have to get done real quick. So, uh, but just, uh, just a moment. Just a little something I have to, uh, finish up and... Man, that's so close to being just 10 minutes, too. But oh well, uh, be right back, just a moment. <laughs> 